Joe here with S3 Archery, and I wanted to come to you today and talk about a topic that's been requested of us by many of our subscribers, and that's around the topic of concentration. Now, I know concentration has been covered by many, many, many different people on the internet and on YouTube, uh, so I want to make sure that this video is something different and brings new content to you. So uh, I'm going to do my very best to talk about a different aspect of concentration than you've likely really thought about before. Um, or if you have, you, you just haven't thought about it much before because it's just not talked about much out in the archery community. So um, let's just jump into the video and I'll talk about my two aspects of concentration and uh, we'll just see where that takes us. As always, feel free to post comments after this video and let me know your thoughts or any other uh, tips that you have for increasing your concentration. So, concentration. In my mind, there's two different aspects to concentration. The first aspect is physical concentration. What I mean by that is the ability to look at an object and never break that line of sight with that object during the entire shot process. So while that sounds really simple, it's really a pretty hard task to accomplish. So as human beings, we just get bored relatively quickly. So after looking at an object for a few seconds, you want to know what else is out there. So you start to look around a bit, whether that be just a couple inches away from the target that you're intending to hit, or whether that be yards or uh, hundreds of yards around the object, you just get bored and you break concentration. So that's the first level of concentration is learning how to link up. I call it linking up with your object that you want to hit and never breaking that link until that arrow is long gone. So that's the first level of concentration. The second level of concentration is mental concentration. And what I mean by that is ensuring that we have the same level of concentration for every shot that we take. It's not different. We want to make sure that we're concentrating in the same manner. And then also, it's making sure that we have our peak level of concentration at the exact moment that we want to take that shot. So I'll talk a little bit more about that when we get to that section of the video as well. So let's focus on the physical concentration first, and we'll move into the mental later. So physical concentration, we're new to archery, or we're having troubles concentrating, and we've been in archery for a while. We've talked about it in a few other videos, but my tip or trick for you would be to take a block or any kind of target, turn it all one color, whether it be all black or all white, and then go ahead and put uh, an orange or a black dot out there about the size of a penny or the size of a quarter, just to really narrow in that vision. It's, it's really hard for your brain not to concentrate on that spot then because there's nothing to see. It's just white or black. And then there's this big high contrast thing out there. So it's, it's pretty easy to get your brain to look at that object. So do that for a while and work on creating that, uh, linking up with that object. And once you can do that, uh, fairly effectively, you'll see that your accuracy will get much, much better. And then go ahead and try it on something a little bit harder. So maybe go out stumping and look at a stump and uh, work at not looking at the stump and finding a black dot on that stump and concentrating on that. And that'll be a bit harder than looking at the block because now there's a lot of textures going on. You'll see the bark, you'll see moss growing on it, there might be a mushroom growing on it. There's a lot going on, but you keep testing your brain to see if you have that level of concentration, that physical concentration, to link up with your object and make a good shot with it um, by never breaking concentration with it. So that's really the physical concentration side. Now let's talk about the mental concentration side and making sure that we have peak concentration at the exact right moment. So when I think about this is if you shoot a gun ever, or if you do compound archery where you use your eyes as like a reference system, if you're right eye dominant, let's say, and you're right-handed shooting a compound bow or shooting a gun, you close your left eye so you can uh, really focus all your concentration. You don't have that double vision problem. You close your left eye and you stare down the sight. Now, if you stare down that sight for 10 seconds, 15 seconds, and you are trying your hardest not to open your left eye, you're trying not to blink because you don't want to distract yourself, you're focusing as hard as you can for 10 or 15 seconds, what ends up happening? What ends up happening is your eye starts to water, 
your vision goes a bit blurry and your concentration is actually the worst that it's ever been in that entire shot process because you try to apply one hundred percent concentration the entire time so what we want to do is we want to gradually build up to that hundred percent concentration so my tip or trick for you all out there in order to do this is you'll see in my videos as well is I'll take out my arrow when I see an object and what I end up doing is I will I want to start small and gradually build up my concentration level so if the camera was my object to look at I'll just be standing straight upright I'll keep my eyes the same level of intensity um, just very relaxed just they're just open the way that my eyes are always open and I'll look at that object and I'm very very relaxed and all I'm doing is I'm testing myself to make sure my mental concentration is there or my sorry my physical concentration is there I'm able to link up with that object I've been looking at it now for five seconds I've never looked anywhere else besides the lens and and I basically have like a checklist so I'm relaxed I'm looking at that object yes I've never broken concentration I'm okay to now go into the next level of intensity let's bump it up to the next level and what I do with that is then I will get down in that crouch position and what that does is it makes all the objects around it get a little bit tighter and I'm focused very much on that camera now and uh, I'm not a hundred percent concentration yet but I am very much in an intense position in a very athletic position ready to take the shot and then finally if I've never broken concentration with that object the entire time I have been at the relaxed stage I've gone into really the next level of concentration and I'm still linked up with it then I'll go into my shot process and I'll pull back and at that point everything really goes black around it my eyes squint a little bit so what I think about with that is with like human beings fight or flight um, just our conditioning if you get scared or there's a loud noise what happens your eyes get really big and the reason for that is as human beings we're conditioned when something scary or something frightens us we want to take in as much input as possible so we know whether we should fight or, or flee from that situation and with archery and concentration we're trying to do just the opposite we're wanting to narrow in our our vision so we're only thinking about one thing we don't want to take in a lot of different inputs so what I do is when I get down into that crouch position and I begin my shot process and I'm wanting to peak my level of concentration I'll actually kind of frown at that object a little bit or squint at it and then you'll see your peripheral vision it actually gets darker around the edges and it helps you focus in on that one object so I mean that's really my tip for getting better mental concentration it's very easy to repeat. You can do it shot after shot after shot. And it, it takes you through a cycle, really, of very little concentration. It builds, it peaks, the shot goes off, and it goes away. So it, it's just uh, a very good way of ensuring that you have the same level of concentration for every shot. Um, and I think you're going to find you're going to shoot much, much better in doing it this way. So that's really my tip for better concentration. Um, hopefully this helps you and uh, feel free to post comments like I said and let me know what you think so till next time shoot straight have fun out there and thanks for tuning in